Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, people living near this apartment complex on Jacksonville's west side, they're saying they're fed up with the violence in their community. A double shooting sent two people to the hospital. And as it were, there was one young man that was running and yelling at the same time. And then uh, there was three that were following him. And they were all, uh, there was one with a gun and he fired that thing off. Last check, one of the gunshot victims is in critical condition. The other, we're told, is in stable condition. The shooting happened on Sophia Street in the Woodstock neighborhood near Commonwealth Avenue. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny explains what led up to the shooting and why neighbors are saying enough's enough. Jacksonville police say an argument involving multiple people inside the Huron Sophia apartment complex on Sophia Street turned into gunfire that sent two people to the hospital. While details about the argument remain unclear, a neighbor says she was on her front porch when she saw the argument turn into a foot chase. You saw three people chasing after one, one person. man. Yeah. Three, three people, three young men, and they uh, were all chasing after one person. And they were shooting at him. I didn't see a gun in his hand, but I saw him run. I heard him yell. And did you see them shooting at him? Oh, yes. Oh, I sure did. Can you describe that? Well, I mean, this boy's running like crazy, like he's a jackrabbit, you know, trying to keep out of line of that fire. And all he could do is keep running and screaming. And these guys are steadily in pursuit of him, and they got their hand out, and they're just steadily firing. They're not going up in the air. They're going right at him. And he's running for his life. He's running for his life. Neighbors who live outside the apartment complex on the adjacent street say that they heard gunshots at two different locations. Uh, this is believed to be one of those locations. And judging by the evidence markers on the ground, this appears to be the other location. Police say they did not recover any weapons, but they did detain one person for questioning. If this specific block of Sophia Street looks familiar, it's because back in October of last year, a 30-year-old man was shot to death. Police recently announced the arrest of these four people who were suspected of being involved in that shooting. So far, police have not revealed a motive in that case. Neighbors we spoke with both on and off camera say that the crime in this community runs so rampant that they were not surprised to hear about a shooting. It seems like uh, every day or every two days, we've got police presence again. And we've got uh, somebody running from the cops or having a gunshot pulled on them or something. According to this JSO crime map, which was adjusted to show reported crimes within a half mile radius of Wednesday's shooting on Sophia Street, there have been five home burglaries, four car burglaries, three cars stolen, seven assaults, one involving shots fired into a home, someone discharging a firearm in public, and an arson. This was all within the past four weeks, and now we can add Wednesday's shooting to the list of reported crimes in this area. Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station.